peace, 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 peace. There we go. There we go. Yeah. We'll get it right. We're going to get it together. Peace, 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 peace. First and foremost, all praise and thanks is due to the most high. Shout out and respect to the ancestors and the elders. You are in the house with Native Son. You already know it's episode number eight. I got sure. Great Beard in the house. Yeah. I got my guy Eddie Spades in the house. Yes, sir. You know what I'm That's saying? We're going to do some checks. We checking live. Check, with check, check. We're going to do some mic, some mic checks, some mic shifts, and all of that good stuff, you know? Getting it together for you here, pulling out the hums and the drums check, check, from everything check. that needs to be cool. so we can move on smooth. If you didn't know, today we're going to be celebrating the life and contributions of the Honorable Larry Hoover. You know what I mean? Much love and much respect. CJ, how you doing, my brother? Much love to you. You know what I mean? I appreciate you checking in. We're getting things started, getting the sound right. Let me see some likes, some hearts. Feel welcome to speak to us. Let us know what's going on inside your world i'm trying to look for peaks i'm trying to make sure that everything sounds wonderful sounds great and you are prepared for the end take today we're talking about the honorable larry hoover let's get into something according to court documents hoover allegedly orders the execution of william pookie young for robbing one of his narcotics houses. Hoover is arrested and charged with murder. And although he never pulled the trigger, Hoover is found guilty and sentenced to 150 to 200 years. 23 years old, in Statesville maximum security. He's in prison, he is still viewed by police as the leader of the state's largest and most dangerous street gang. Joni Lum is here with the latest on today's raid. Joni? Sonia and Dave, authorities believe Larry Hoover is running an Just enormous gang operation from inside the Just Dixon taking you back, giving you some, where he is housed. You know, some history Chicago, on Illinois, TV, and some discussion about Larry Hoover, and letting you hear from young Larry Hoover the yourself. Promotions, looking for evidence of income tax evasion and money laundering. The 44-year-old acknowledged leader of the Black Gangster Disciples has been in prison since 1973 for a drug-related murder. At several parole hearings, he's claimed he's a changed man who is no longer violent. Today, police spent about two hours combing through the records of Save the Children on the South Side. They seized half a dozen cardboard boxes and file cabinets of financial records and also $7,000 in cash. Police say the charity organization has legitimate operations, but they also believe it is a front for an effort to get Hoover out of jail. Police believe that Hoover has been running drug trafficking in the city of Chicago from his jail cell and that potential tax law violations may be a way to dismantle the gang. Police also went to the home of Hoover's wife, Wendy Jenkins, where they also just took some records. Yeah. And they haven't said yet exactly what they found in those records. If you just tune in, we're talking they, they Larry Hoover, with some amounts, the Honorable but they did Larry not Hoover, find any much drugs, love, and they plenty haven't much had love to all my yet. brothers out there, all my brothers and sisters in the struggle. It can have two effects. It can harden you, or it can make you think. And, uh, I thought. What have you thought? What are the thoughts like on a day to day basis? Incarceration. Well, basically, uh, you think about preparing yourself for the future and preparing yourself for one day when you will return to the street. Are you prepared? Yes, I'm prepared. I have, uh, I've got employment. Uh, I want to do something for the community. Uh, I see these kids coming in here every day with 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Their life wasted just like I wasted mine. In 1969, we combined forces and we established two kings and two princes. Uh, I was very instrumental and the disciples and the gangsters coming together. When I went to jail in 1968 for failure to register a gun and unlawful use of a weapon, I met David Box there while I was in the House of Correction. We was at odds when we first met. After a while, 
He began to love me and I began to love everyone. him as my brother. Thank you for joining. Much love to you. When Get I came out of jail in uh, 69, we're talking Larry Hoover, Hoover was ambassador we're of the some, Stone. Some of the original, we had a nation meeting of the gangsters, gangsters. And I said I wasn't going to be no Stone. Saying. Let's keep it clean. That night, Hoover here called and Jeff Ford the, and told him that uh, the narrative. He could no longer much be love, a, much be a respect. Or Thanks for tuning in. Stone. You got a great show a planned minute. for you. Hoover called. Who called? Who now? Say that again. Hoover called Jeff Ford, right? And told him that he could no longer be uh, affiliated with the Stone. And, and and I believe he did that out of his love for me. All right, and we'll stop right there. We'll stop with the idea of love. Once again, plenty much love to all my brothers and sisters of the struggle that may be tuning in. Big shout out to hip hop. You know, I got Gray Beard in the house. I got Eddie Spades in the house. Word Go ahead up. and say what's up. Let's get a mic check. What's up, everybody? Check, you know check, check. Saying? Let everybody Yo. know how you feeling today. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is iry. <laughs> Bringing the energy up. How y'all feeling out there in the world? You know, let me hear some. Let me hear some. How you feeling today? How you doing today? And I pray you're feeling great. You know what I'm saying? We got whatever you need. We're going to drop them on in, make them drop to they need. You know what I'm saying? So we got the drops. We just making sure everything is good to go because we came today to bring your energy levels up. You know what it is. <laughs> so with no further ado, we just had some special guests in the building. They had to slide on out. You know, and, and that's, you know, it's all love. You know, if you ain't got a moment to chill, you already know you can tune in and check in on a moment that's real. That's just how we do it when we get ready to do it. Shout out to my guy, Joel June, to the brother Preach. I go by the name of Native Son. Here's a song that we recorded a while back that's getting ready to drop. Man, we got surprises on top of surprises. It goes by the name of Mira. Mira. Boom. Is it any clear? 
deliver Can you see it, nigga? Huh? <laughs> Damn it, I pulled a hammy Running to bring Preach. the bacon Homie went from a piggy uh. To the lord of the flies Straight to the desert island My yeah. only companion violence The fat lady was singing to the strings of tiny violins They cracking my glasses I adjusted my irises All I can see is notices, dialogue and reflection I don't face first into a motherfucking mirror And a boy <laughs> gentlemen once again i go by the name of native son you are in the house with native son we're gonna put something on in the background it's nice and smooth and pleasing to your eardrums while we move on through with our episode if you didn't know we got our special guest gray beard eddie spades in the house they over there charging up Chilling. getting their energy ready to give you the best that they got because tonight it's all about bars i might just start spitting right now you know what i'm saying this little beat right here i made this beat in the background you know uh been up on the block how you gonna do it even if you got a clock you already know i'm fluent when i'm getting to it i water wait a minute something you never thought of i'm going right up off the mind homie uh, i'm just playing hey let me stop let me stop for a second we just doing what we do we feeling good feeling great i'm gonna take you through a, a brief synopsis we're gonna see what wikipedia has to offer us in regards to the honorable larry hoover you know what i'm saying uh founder of the chicago street fraternity called the gangster disciples hoover is currently serving time in adx florence um, his sentences include a 150 to 200 year sentence for a 1973 murder that he himself did not commit. Um, also, after investigations of conspiracy, extortion, money laundering, and continuing a criminal uh, enterprise. But of course, we always skip out on America's dark history and the fact that they are literally criminals and the difference between corporate enterprises. And we get tired of the connotative slaughter that's applied to uh, growth and development since we stepped into the 720 vision. We wanna give you know more honor and reverence to our honorable chief, uh, Larry Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Now myself, uh, <coughs> being growth and development, um, my guests tonight have no direct affiliation. This is just you know what I would like to talk about. Uh, bless her strong to the honorable Larry Hoover. You know his birthday just passed. Uh, November 30th, he turned 70 years old. He is here in Colorado. So this is a, is a Colorado subject because we would like uh, to see our own legislator put the press on, uh, on them to be like, hey, we got to get this guy. Let's get him closer to home. Let's see something different because you're just pinning things on people. And, and we can elaborate later. And I like to keep it light on the subject. And this is one of the major reasons why we ask that people who are not officially affiliated with uh, with the nation, you know what I'm saying? Um, with growth and development uh, that are not in line with the vision or on count or uh, communicating regularly uh, to, to be light on their expressions, interpretations of the nation. Because, you know, many things like throwing gang signs and a lot of the ideologies that are associated shouldn't actually be associated because it's not in line with the actual vision of, of trying to assist the youth and give them something more to look forward towards as they attempt to navigate the difficult life in the street. And we know what happens when you begin to remove uh, people's, you know, people's leaders. You, you, you just invoke more chaos. And then they try to impose order. But the thing is, they're not imposing order for the sake and the good of the people. They begin to impose order for the sake and the good of the corporate entity established by way of the corporate entity of the United States, which recently changed its name to USA Inc. because it was too far in debt with Britain because we never really got away from them. 
just to keep it 100 with you you know we, these are facts this is all based off of research and study that you just get off the drop of the dime that you get simply just for tuning in and taking a second to be edutained because that's what we do here on in the house with native son we edutain um i'm gonna take you back to a little more of discussion uh where we have the interview uh about the gangster disciples now known as growth and development going from a 360 to 720 plan if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about go ahead and walk it out feel good about yourself and holla at me at a separate time let's get it together in the event that we need to get it together if you gotta come and see me come and see me i'm i'll come and see you i'm always making myself available we can set up a meeting via zoom in person whatever we need to do but aside of all that let's take a quick break let's listen to more of what our elders had to say in regards to the next day, Jeff came to 68 degrees and wanted to try to straighten it out. We wouldn't hear of it. So he left with a little angle. About six months, six months later, six or seven months later, with me talking to Larry and me also keeping in contact with David, I had a chance to bring them together. And we sat and we decided that we would, it would be an equal partnership. That's how it got to be two kings and two princes. Name the two kings and name the two princes. David Boxdale and Larry Hoover combined makes up the king of the Black Gangster Disciples. Tennessee and a brother named Old Timer was their prince, their second in charge. And Larry Hoover, you know, had this vision for the gangster disciples, and they followed it. Hoover modeled the GDs like a big corporation. He appointed himself chairman and set up a board of directors inside the pen and another one on the streets. The fact that Hoover was serving life at a state prison in Dixon, Illinois, did little to thwart his ambitions. Larry Hoover was very, very sharp in terms of flying under the radar. He didn't walk around flying colors. He didn't walk around flashing signs. He was very uh, low-keyed in his presence. Hoover took advantage of the state prison's liberal rules to hold scores of meetings with gang members over the phone and in the visitation room. There were certain board members that could meet with him and he would give direction as to what he wanted done. The board members would, would listen to him and carry out his orders. These GD leaders passed orders down to foot soldiers who then carried out the gang's business on the streets. He had developed his organization to a point where he had several layers that made it very difficult to ever implicate him on anything. In 1978, Hoover solidified his power base behind bars. He convinced black, white, and Latino prison gangs to unite under one banner while serving time. The and it's all about unity. With that right there, we're going to let you know it is all about unity. You know, you have to remove the fact uh, you hear a lot of talk about, like, you know, they're saying um, um, prison. Uh, and these these trigger words that make us automatically want to shut down to things but this this is our reality man a lot of our brothers and sisters had to experience these harsh realities not by choice just by simple defaults of character um so within these spaces we had to set up ways to be secure to be safe and to operate especially while we're being starved of resources what was being made available did they say here here's the tomato trade here's the carrot trade and agriculture you guys can learn that see we could teach the uh afrikaans which were the germans that came into america by way of south africa by the millions because more afrikaans came in than africans 
Um, but anyways, as we taught them how to farm and they began to roll over and take control and possession of the farms through legislation and different things like that, because our whole interpretation of slavery is, is skewed by what they feed us through Hollywood and stuff like that. You know, there was black slave owners. There was a lot of things going on, you know, and predominantly when uh, the Afrikaans, which are Germans coming in by way of South Africa, they were what was known as tenants when they showed up here. And those tenants would work on those farms, be taught how to farm. And that's why that's the original meaning of sharecropper, because these blacks that originally owned the land, owned the farms, they would share their crop now. They're sharing their crop with these newly legislated people that are being brought in. And, and that's the angle they don't want you to see. But all the history is there if you take the time to study and research. Um, as you know, we got uh, Gray Beard, 80 Spades in the house. They just released a project not too long ago. It was titled uh, Ninja vs. Pirate. Uh, Gray Beard, if you can for a second, go ahead and introduce yourself and then tell us what was the introduce yourself, introduce yourself, 80, and then explain to him what was the inspiration behind this particular project. Cool. Yeah, I'm Gray Beard. Um, you can always, because I got this Gray Beard. Um, that's, that's why you do your yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I that's, thought it was like a metaphor for something. I'm 80 spades. <laughs> you can tell because I have this gray beard. Oh, wait. No, it's the hat. Because I have the hat. Yeah. See? So, you know, it's all good. No doubt. <laughs> so, Ninja my man. Versus Pirates? Yeah. Pretty much. Right now, it's just two songs. You know, we're building the catalog as we go, as we feel. But that really just came together it was the idea i shot to him was like yo my whole platform is on the ninja and you have <laughs> the hat i mean no you got the gray beard so <laughs> you know with that i was like hey you want to make some music together because honestly we've been working together for a couple of few years now so yeah doing shows all the time together like truly all the time so we decided to link up and just Ninja vs. Pirate. I'm always catching um I'm always catching these brothers dropping them bars on you. Um if you haven't seen 80 Spades, he he he'll be live hitting you with a little bit of this and that on his Instagram. I, that's that's where I see he most he likes to be active at, you know what I mean? I'm right now, I'm, I'm searching, we, I'm digging through, you know, the archives. We're going to find some cool, smooth tracks from, you know, a little way back to share with the people before you give them a live performance. And before we continue talking about the Honorable Larry Hoover, or we continue on in our discussion for the night. Once again, you are in the house with Native Son. I appreciate your presence. This person right here, right here, you see the finger. You see it wiggling. You see it waggling. That's Graybeard. This guy right here, you see the hat. It says 80 spades. How many spades? 80. What color is the spade? Black. And don't forget that, Jack. You already, you already know what it is. I'm going to let this uh, instrumental spin in your head for a second. Give you a second to soak and meditate while we look for a great track to share with y'all by Graybeard and 80 Spade. Test their life, but you're not right or no. Go ahead and fight, look into that light. 
go ahead and glow. You gotta shine, baby. Shine like you shine. Once again, I go by the name of Native Sun. That's one N A T V S O N one dot info if you need to know. We never taking it slow. We moving quick because we got to do shit. We got shit to do. So we move quick. Running forward and back to you. We got Greybeard 80 Spades in the house. We're getting ready to bring up a dope track that we got off their uh the recent project, Ninja vs. Pirate. It's called C -C Coming Through Your Speaker. <laughs> Coming through your speakers, coming through your speakers, now they coming through your sleeping. You already know, and I really hope they reaching right into your head. Now stop while you speaking. Listen, listen, I shine, let it climb. Huh? Listen. Coming through your speakers. Where's it coming from? Through your speakers, motherfucker. Yeah, that's Greybeard, 80 spades, coming through your speakers. Ninjas vs. Pirate, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it real just like that. Wonderful display of lyricism. Hash, what's happening with you? Luke, what's happening with you? Shout out to everybody that just jumped into the room. You already know what it is. Native Son, you are in the house with Native Son. You almost made me stutter because I'm so happy to see you. I got to wipe tears away from my eyes. It's so great to have company. It gets so lonely just sitting in here being great and trying to create. All right. You know, with that being said, I got a little more for your head. We are trying to keep things going fluently, comfortably. Blee. We are jumping back into our chi. We are moving with the towel. You already know what it is. We ain't ready to throw in the towel. We keeping it even. One in a TV. S O N one. We're celebrating the life and the contributions of the Honorable Larry Hoover. You know, to, we're gonna read a little more from Wikipedia here and what it says in regards to the gangster disciples. It says leader and events in 1974. After the leader of the Black Disciples, David Barksdale, died from kidney failure, you know, forever rise, by an injury due to an earlier shooting, Hoover took the reins of the Black Gangster Disciples nation under his wing, which now had control of Chicago's South Side. Under Hoover's rule, the Black Gangster Disciples took over the South Side, 
while incarcerated. Um, you know, it's saying Hoover helped folks nation, which added other gangs such as, and it lists, you know, more and more and more uh, street fraternities that were associated. If you know they were associated, they keep it kind of light. And you can tell the history that they allowed to be planted here on the internet is very short, brief, and geared more towards, uh, you know, the, the criminal aspect. But I want to put more of a of a light and bring you more into the world of an individual that's born with nothing no resources has to grow up in a place where there's all types of violence going on you know you have all the gangs and everything going on chicago's a very important place when it comes to american history you have a lot of huge movements that were birthed there in chicago like nation of islam that got their strength there you know uh, chicago's just like a harlem which would just be like almost like a denver because denver was often referred to as harlem of the west there was a strong uh black panther presence in denver in colorado springs uh we just not too long ago did a show on bobby seal uh we talked about the history of the black panther party for liberation not to be confused with the black panther party uh that was started you know there was different factions when you really step into it that some, uh, a lot of it all came out of the colleges the colleges really spawned a lot of the movements that we see uh for civil rights in the 60s and the 70s and what i like to bring to people's attention is that normally when uh our country may be trying to overthrow another country or upset their government or upset the balance two target groups that we pay attention to is youth and education so if you think that they're not doing the same thing here within our country you're crazy and that just to let you know the civil rights movement basically spawned through the colleges it was promoted. They promoted the people say, go out into the community, do something, do something. Then we have movements such as SNCC, L uh, S S C L C, um, and these different Black Panther Party starting to develop. And then all of a sudden we have this motion, which is called the Civil Rights Movement. So sometimes you really have to take a step back and look at history to kind of gauge, yo, what is going on? What where are we getting to? Because here in this life, here in the United States, you know it pays to be ahead of the curve. We got to do our best to stay ahead of the curve. And that's something Honorable Larry Hoover represents is always being ahead of the curve and in a civil manner. A lot of times you hear a lot about a lot of different associated street fraternities and they don't have uh, a set constitution, a code of conduct or anything tangible you can look upon. Maybe just their their block, their OGs. You see that a lot uh, with crip sets. A lot in, you know, blood sets, crypt sets coming from original sets that were rolling, rolling 60s, 40s, 20s. I'm originally from Los Angeles, you know, and that's where a lot of the association came for me is this term where people would use uh, for being a G, being a G, a G. This is something you would hear a lot in the rolling language. So then once I moved to the Midwest uh, and then let's not forget, you know, uh, 86 or, you know, 88, uh, we had a strong uh presence of growth and development that went to california to usher peace talks between the crips and the bloods and that's when we had things uh like the eight ball going to place uh the eight ball being representative of you know the crip hand sign crip fraternity hand sign uh the the gangster disciples fraternity hand sign being joined together in which would, would make the symbol of an eight being an eight ball uh, but then um, they say, you know, he broke, broke the eight ball was broke. There's all this mythology and all these other things that are related unto the uh, the specifics of the history that, that that we're seeking to let you know. It's, it's just that it's history. And it's time to let these organizations and these people grow and develop into what what they truly are. You know, wonderful politicians, uh, wonderful scientists, uh, you know, people that work hard in finance and entertainment that are entrepreneurs that are building a way for their people under a lot of means you know shout out uh to jay prince uh shout out to rap a lot records you know what i'm saying uh all the people with mob ties you know shout out to my guy easy um shout out to my guy will doing his thing you know he's managing uh jazzo uh you know this out of marcy in brooklyn jazzo being the jazzo that initially brought jay-z in and everything like that you know shout out to my guy you know mansa doing his thing also with the promotions out there you know it's it's a, it's a real life uh, uh it's a reality and so you know when i say g body you know what comes after that what you would hear in the background i had a great time last year i went out to atlanta got to hang out with a with with a lot of uh, growth and development and, and and wonderful great brothers and sisters um 
in Atlanta at uh, One Cigar Lounge uh, with Jay Prince, Jay Prince Jr., um, and uh, you know, and other people, man, and other you know, great people, just fellowship, coming together, setting the ground and the foundation to build in order to move forward. And that's what we're asking everybody to do is just, just you know, come together and, and let's move forward in the spirit of our elders and our ancestors. You know, let's let, let's move move forward. You don't have to know everything. You don't got to be a rocket scientist. You don't got to, you know, be a doctor. You don't got, you know, you don't got to be a scholar in these things. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to be a scholar. You don't got to be a teacher, you know, just, just be who you are, make yourself available and, and we can get these things figured out and have true pure intent on your heart. And, and, and in, you know, in the spirit of scholars, let, let's talk about scholar. Featuring We came to bring you energy levels up. Huh. Yeah. Give me a drum roll. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Huh. Give me a drum roll so I can take off on another level. Another speed, another frequency that isn't frequently seen. How could you see? 
see me shining All you need is the result to feel the hidden force behind it That's ultra, I'm ultra, we ultra You be on the winning side, I feel it pulsate through your vibe Give me a drum or something One bites the dust, the city light, but they ain't hype as us When it strike like lightning does Close eyes might capture the buzz so immaculate Manipulating the vernacular Mentally attract whatever I'm after A master of craft and action Adept, I can adapt and adjust reactions Absent the affirmations, I'ma have some patience That the universe work is waiting And if it's all about balance, I can't even really wait to weigh this Side of a confrontation, a calculation I make cognitive that the elements may shift My prerogative is creation Within this matrix, at heart, know the altar's waiting Actual events versus words and painting Statues are other ways of imagining Imagination, use manifest awaken. Cause I was made to play this game in a strange arrangement with a taste for danger, hunger pains and the strength and anger. Avoid the hatred, stay on point and don't point your finger. That'll get your game up till it's with the fake. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. be thankful. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah. Give me uh. a drum roll. Give me, give me a drum roll so I can take off on another level. Another speed, another frequency that isn't frequently seen. I'm ultraviolet. Off on another level, another speed, another frequency, another. You already know what it is, man. That was Native Sun Ultra. We're ultra, I'm feeling ultra. If you didn't know, Nas just dropped the album on there. He got a song called Ultra Black. We feeling real ultra, man. We going to outer space, man. We got a ninja, we got a pirate, and we got a man on earth. That's I. Native son, we in the building, man. Giving it to you how it's supposed to be. We're getting ready to jump in live. Um, I wanted to give you some early history. It's not readily available, but I'll give it off the top of my mind. The Honorable Larry Hoover is originally from Mississippi. He moved to Chicago area when he was young. Um, you know, where he began to grow up, just like the rest of the kids there on the south side of Chicago. Regular life. Um, he's located here in Florence. Um, we, we're trying to get him close to home as possible, if not all the way free, to see his family before he goes. He's been locked up 20 plus years. I think the punishment is enough for the death of one person that he didn't actually commit. And then they stack. Every time they say, Gangster's Disciples did this, Gangster's Disciples did that, Gangster's Disciples did that. They, they stack these charges um, in, in the term, uh, form of racketeering onto him to increase his time, which we need, we need to remove. And we need to stop those people that are what we call false flagging or giving a fake narrative as to what uh you know this nation is all about to what growth and development and our target goal is and to to the wonderful works uh that the honorable larry hoover has been doing since he had the realization that we need to come together as all people in unity build each other and and begin to bring each other through into a higher understanding uh knowledge and wisdom you know what i'm saying life love and loyalty and all those wonderful things that you may be associated with if you are associated directly with growth and development. If you don't know, ask somebody that is official, man. You know, if you got people throwing up, doing all this extra stuff, talking all that violent stuff, it's probably not the way. You know, mainly you see brothers saying love, and that's it. We are holding off from even throwing up forks anymore due to this original association with an image that no longer fits the nation of growth and development that's still around. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, the brothers uh, uh, Unity and Peace. Uh, shout out to my brother Noble Amir. Shout out to the honorable brother Gator Wallace that's been really doing his thing politically in Chicago still to this day. Uh, you know, I do him uh, much love and shout out to uh, uh, Larry Hoover Jr. That's been trying to hold things down the best he can. Speak with the brothers and everything. I pray the brothers had safe travels if they still went down to Chicago for the birth for the birthday of the past 30th. Um, you know, shout out to other key brothers out there. I'd like to mention, you know, uh, the brother Austin doing, you know, doing what you do, holding it down, man, picking up trash in your community, getting the name growth and development on the books in a proper, healthy fashion in the light in which it deserves to be shown. If you have any further questions, 
know, holler at me. Uh, we are currently going to court. Uh, the Honorable Larry Hoover just went to court back in July. His family did. And it's looking more and more like, you know, he may be coming home soon. We're just asking that you keep in your prayers that he do return home and reserve from any showing any affiliation that has anything to do with something negative. Like, no more of that. We're just not doing that. If you want to do something negative and talk about it and show it and do all this extra stuff, do it on your time under whatever it is you create. Growth and development, GD, whatever, however you classify it, it's not the place. And once everything is settled, you know, we will be actively looking to calm and quiet all the extra residual noise that's that that's filling up the airway so we can get a, a more healthy directive. So with that being said, much plenty much love to the Honorable Larry Hoover. I pray that you see this. You know, I pray that the guys see this. You know, I'm one of Larry's guys. You know, holla at me. Let's build, man. I'm, I'm here to build. Uh, now let's move in to the part of the show that I love sincerely. The part where we get to hear some of these bars. The part that these two gentlemen are here for. They're getting bored in the back. They sit back like, hey, man, we came to do our thing. What we going to do? You know what I'm saying? We just got done with the summer. It feels like there was, you know, we just fell into winter. <laughs> From the summer. We just fell on in the winter. Um, so... You know, before we even kick off any type of anything, any type of questioning, you know, with mentions of summer being in the air, I'm going to just get your sound right. You know, let's get your sound right here. A couple yo yo's, check, 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 yo. Let me see, you know, one, let one, me know two. how it sounds to you out there in the one, world. One, two, one, two. Get some likes. Let's get some likes, some hearts. Yo, What's yo, up? yo. Some something. Say something to these gentlemen that's getting ready to go off the top, get ready what to up? do what they got to do for you straight naturally. You know what I'm saying? Coming in here, giving you the best they got on In the House with Native Son. We was talking summer. No further ado, you got Ray Beard, Eddie Spades. We're going to start with the yo, summer yo. intro. Yeah, yeah. Bring a better battle when I'm up to the plate. Everything I state when I rhyme is great. Take your fakeness back to the shop. You made a mistake when the beat got dropped and thought you could rock with the best of them. But you ended up like the rest of them. Dead me and Mike be the best of friends. And I don't need a fucking pope just to bless my pens. I'm gonna keep it rocking, man. I'm talking nonstop. Type of shit to make your motherfucking brain pop. I got a lot. When I rock spot, shit'll get hot to the parking lot. And pass that blast, that ill technique. I'ma spit heat every time I speak. Type of shit to get the crowd out they seat. You ain't never heard another rapper like me. I got full control of my syllables, I'm a pro when I flow, we the fast and slow, fast like flash when I pass on the left, I'ma blast these cats with my very last breath, Hey, my name is Grey Beard, that's 80 spades, big up to native son, here we go, yeah, I love this shit too much, I'ma give it up, one life to live and I'ma live it up, yeah, yeah, Hey. One life to live and I'ma live it up One life to live and I'ma live it up Got a bone to pick and I'ma pick it up Put it in the backyard, you can dig it up Suckers fall off, they can't handle the pressure I bring a song and it's all at my leisure I came for booty and chest full of treasure Stop getting mad cause my lines are more clever Bring it better than the average Joe Savage and ravage, not average Joe Tagging and bragging and bagging the full rock mics at your party But then I gotta go, Hey, Mad style, baby, what you got? Or maybe you're thinking you're not as good as you thought But that doesn't matter when it's half a gun chatter And the battle is better, I bring it up on the ladder with life Hey, pages Great beer, got an ounce in the grand just to get me here. Say something, let me be clear. I'm a rock the mic and like a ghost is appear. There you have it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That one hell of an intro, man. We talking summer with Greybeard. He just let you have it, giving you the lyrics like you love it. Let me see some likes. Let me see some hearts. If you like what you're hearing, you know what I'm saying? Contribute. Participate. Say something. Do something. Move something. Okay. You are in the house with Native Son. Greybeard, let's do a little bit of Q&A. Let's start with when did you first start rhyming? What made you fall in love with hip hop? <laughs> um, well, I started rhyming. I think I've always written songs and poems when I was like a little kid. Um, and I'm so old that there wasn't hip hop when I was a kid. Um, so once it did come out, I was hooked right away. Um, and I started writing rhymes in high school, probably like 88, 89. Um, and haven't really stopped since. So, um, and what got me into hip hop? I love the culture, man. I love the hip, the the MCN, the beatboxing, the break in, the graffiti art, all of that. I love all of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm down with it um, till the heart till the heart stops 
stop speeding. Hey, and I just want to let you know, I'm down with you until the heart stops beating, man. <laughs> no for him, hop. It Hell doesn't yeah. matter if you take it serious or not. It's going to be what it is, and it is what it is here in Denver, Colorado. And if you've been working hard, doing your thing, we see each other. Mm -hmm. We appreciate each other. Mm -hmm. It's all love. And we understand the nature of hip-hop. We understand the competitiveness. We understand it all, man. <laughs> so we appreciate the space, whatever space it is that you occupy within this culture here, man. Word 80 up. Spades. Go ahead and tell the people, man. When did you first fall in love with hip-hop? Shit, dude. Honestly, it goes back so far. But I'll give it mostly to, like, the Run DMCs. You know, honestly, I fucking loved Walk This Way. That was not like my original first song I ever heard thing, but just the way it was done, like so creative, just mind blowing stuff. But then, you know, coming up teenager in the 90s, 90s rap just blew me away. Uh, that's what truly brought my real, real love. Like I appreciated it younger, but not knowing really what it was all i knew is i wanted to do it I and feel yeah that. so finally getting and a chance to do it. it oh yeah and, and you can and you can see 80 spades mm -hmm. spelled just like it sounds except there's a z at the end of spades That's instead correct. of an s yes find him on instagram dropping those bars giving giving you what he has giving you what he got That's i does what, what do. i does that's all i can do you know what I'm that's saying? That's all I can do. That's all that can be done. Moving on, moving yeah, forward. Man. You know, it's December. Last month <laughs> was November. True that. I know why Clef. I saw him a couple years ago. I said, hey, Clef. I got to talk. We, Me and Clef, we had a talk. We predominantly talked about Haiti. I told him, you know, I would like to see him run once again for president. And I was hoping that he would have did so. I think it was the 20, uh, 21 22 cycle coming up um you know you and we learned things about expenditures uh the scandals they tried to put on his back i just let him know you know gave him my encouragement and said you know i understand you know what you're attempting and what you're trying to do and i pray that you are able to pull through with that initiative you know clef's been you know instrumental in just music period man if you didn't know when it comes to production or whatever so shout out to y clef gone till november this next track is titled november once again 80 spades Great beer, you hearing it here. Y'all know. Flow spit illin', spade spit illin', we run through fools to get to the main villains Goku level power, this ain't Krillin', when I grab the mic it feel like I can break buildings Writing in these notebooks until I cramp up, knowing when I recite them, you put your fucking hands up Or at least nod your head like your barber's in back of you and he's repeatedly smacking you But these are the factuals, I am 80 spades, youngest son of the Rhineswell mother Best thing since burrito smothered, bars is hard like you took that same burrito And left them in the refrigerator all night uncovered, I'm just chillin' Not something to maintain Posted on the couch with a drink and some plain Jane But when I grab the mic, I gotta bring it to you But that's just one thing that I need to do Man, I need a microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Rhymes well, this is what we do Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Rhymes well, this is what we do Man Shout out Greybeard, shout out Native Son, man. Appreciate you. Check this out, check this out. Living my life like it's golden Grabbing the mic like I'm chosen B-boys dance like I'm posing Five-yard penalty like I'm holding Y'all just some characters off of Frozen Looking at my business for a spot to put your nose in I'm a rolling stone, I know where I'm going All I know is every day I'm growing Build your legacy instead of living in the moment That's what I was told with That was just a youth But I didn't pay attention and the pudding's in the proof Now I sleep when I can Try to live in the booth Cause life ain't always good And that's the hard truth that you got to learn Lies are becoming more difficult to discern Write my life down on the pages and let them turn Signs still delivered to you I made these spades rhymes well This is what I do, man I need a microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Rhymes well, this is what we do Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Microphone check One, two, one, two Rhymes well, this is what we do one two, microphone check. One two, one two, micro microphone check. One two, 
Shout out to Jamie, man. Right, well, this is what we do. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Right, well, this is what we do. crazy how I did this song, it has this ride out, and then it skips into this next part, and because I felt this next part necessary, it's just amazing. <laughs> oh, sexy Luke, shout out. <laughs> you already know. Oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> you see, he was on the one twos. He's killing him. This is very important. Check it out. Uh huh. One, two. Microphone. Chizek. Huh. Y'all know. This all I know, I feel I'm fucking phenomenal When I'm dropping flows, call me the Hulk, I'm fucking unstoppable And top of the improbable when the mission's impossible And never stop till I got the dough to go to the Galapagos East Bay's fresh and clean, you can call me Mop and Glow Knock them over like dominoes, stomping over my obstacles Watching over blocks like a Doppler with my opticals Chop them into blocks like a doctor when I got the glow You know when to test the power of the Excalibur Lyrical soul devourer, towering over challengers Ripping out your brakes, engine, transmission, and calibers With ninja precision, my mission simply to damage ya Perception of lyrical Weapons repping Midwest and show us some more respect when you're stepping into our sections. Forgive this in the mission, but listen, the best is the one who claim it or the one who leave you breathless. Yeah. I'm over here choking on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the house with Data Sub, man. Hey. Denver Hill. Hop yeah, no. at his finest, man. You can't go. You can't run. You can go and get your gun, but you ain't gonna pop none. You ain't gonna break now. Hey, we done showed up for breakfast, brunch, and you ain't even ready to crunch. That's all I'm trying to say, man. Big up to Eddie Spades, man. He just killed it right there. You already know. Moving right into the next track, Project X. Shout out to all those people that got an X at the end of their name. The one person I know that officially has that X. Shout out to my brother Jeff Fard. You know what I'm saying, brother Jeff? Cultural Center in Well, you know, on Welton Street in Five Points. Get there. Hey yo, this is Project X off the off the new album, the ICBM. There's a video for this song. Big shots out the flows rhymes well. Yo, original track, original Denver shit. This one right here. Brought to you by Birdswell. Yeah. Hey yo, I'm cruising down Sobo, looking for that pre-roll break. Four of those down and re-roll. Yeah, and now we chillin'. Let's go gab some food. Stop at alternation so that I can get some brew. Yeah, and this is how we do We headed to the studio to bring you something new And it's true, I'm only keeping killers in my crew Cause we trying to earn, grabbing up the loot Catch me up at Wax Tracks, looking through the record racks 1984 on every wall and that's a fucking fact My style, you fear it, cause you can't get near it Gotta meet top flight up at Mile High Spirits Hypnotic got me in the door and now I'm doing shit I never thought I'd do before Trust in my process Legend like Loch Ness Hand me the fucking mic Man, I got this Big shots out to flows rhymes well Burns well The whole Wolf House studio crew Bim Yo, yeah, bring that back. <laughs> one time, one time for the one time. On my real rhymes to the floor. Hey, Great Beard, can I rap on this? Do it. Do can it. I rap on this? Do it. Can I rap on this? <laughs> yo, this thing nasty as a motherfucker. Yo, hey, yo, Mad Cats with Mad Raps. 
nothing but a turn of my cap On my ass cap, be your mind numbers, we turn that Check my Spotify as soon as you spot me, guys You already know, it's easy though Off the top of the dome, and when you see me number one He be criminal Nah, but not really though Most of y'all are really slow Millies in them elbows Letting go different states, different takes Different place, you already know what it is I need a different face To put these motherfucking lyrics Damn in front of my nigga please run up my nigga please run up boom 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 he brought his gun what what that ain't stopping me i'm the prophecy i'm a rocket properly <laughs> i tell them cats to get off of me yeah i'm still coughing please off of this wonderful weed beautiful trees that we smoke in colorado man we got what you need don't get on your knees keep your shoes clean keep your slate clean make sure you say nathan hey man that means nothing you know how the rope rings you know what the soap brings we staying clean even though so many people are dirty you heard me bringing it back let's get back into a q a to this nasty mother here you know what I mean? All right, we're speaking hip hop. We talked about inspiration. What got you inspired? Let's talk about now, Greybeard. What keeps you going? And lean to the side so the people can see see see, see you up this way. The, Let's I'm go. There we here. go. All right. And, and, and yeah, we are. Cool, cool. Uh, what keeps me inspired? Fuck, man. It's real hard this year. Um, but you know what? There's a lot of good shit coming out of Denver. And whenever I hear someone like Tony T. Or or uh, uh, gloomy Sunday drop something. I'm inspired right away, and I start writing, and I start making new beats. So, um, yeah, this whole scene, everybody around me, man, you fucking, you inspire me too, my brother. So fuck yeah, man. Yes, it is, no man. doubt. Big ups for hip hop. Eddie Spades. Let's talk about what keeps you inspired, bro. Lately, it's just like the freedom of creativity itself. If that makes any actual sense, I know it sounds like kooky. Nah, nah. It's just one of those things where it's like, if I hear that he's about to do something, then I'm like, oh shit, okay, what's he about to do? Let me do something real fast. Or like, an Il Seven or Flows, like he said, yourself. I remember meeting you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Cunha Black. Shout out Fat Track. Definitely Fat Track. Let's touch on that real quick. It's important, isn't it? Receiving that energy from your peers, from your fan base, or from whoever may encounter you. Mm -hmm. Some type of energy. Even if it's negative energy, say something. Give me something to build with. Would you agree? Indeed. Like, energy is energy. And it's how you flip it. Greybeard, what you it's got to you say about it. reciprocity, brother? Um, I say that's what's going to build our fucking scene out here, man. Like me seeing you everywhere and you seeing me everywhere. And every time we fucking meet up, we talking and we, we linking up and we giving each other information and passing shit back and forth. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, that's how we build, man. I, I, I help you out. You help me. 80 do. helps me. I help, I help 80. And, and, you know, that's how we end up with dope albums like the ICBM. Word up. <laughs> Motherfucking mother. This is here, just nasty. If you at home right now, please dial right here. I know you got two bars. Look, you got two bars. Man, they gonna get you. They gonna get you hype, man. They gonna get you right. We gotta get you right, cause you know a lot of people lately. They've been feeling their mood drop off. They've been feeling things go away. They may not need them to go. So I'm glad to have the opportunity to bring their energy levels back up anytime that they feel they're sinking. Hmm. You know what I mean? No doubt. Whatever floats your boat, as long as your boat's not sinking. Nope. And with that being said, let's keep moving ahead. Yes, sir. This is a song called To Whom. It's a gloomy Sunday beat. Shout him out. Here we go, check it out. I 
was down on my luck and had some babies to feed Craving the need to make some change and maybe succeed But it gave me the greed and drive so I'ma get me some scraps Cause my pockets is itching dry even from lack of greenbacks Taking within my boundaries ain't an option no more With nothing to lose on the line except remaining vegan broke I can't see a life of government cheese and police On the daily rents on the week to week basis with no lease Unsanitary conditions, man this ain't no living The windows don't even open and nothing works in the kitchen This freaking prison, this ain't the place I want to raise kids in my own Families against it, they don't see the whole vision A little money for my CD started my monetary mission It's not that I don't listen, but I make my own decisions It's not a matter of when, it's a matter of fact Who used to say, would you help me or just turn your back? Tell whom to make concerns, so sorry I ain't called in a minute I've been trying to get this music thing my all for a minute I know from the outside looking in it might appear I'm chasing dreams But it's actually closer to reality than it seems To whom it may concern, sorry I ain't called in a minute I've been trying to get this music thing my all for a minute I know for the outside looking in it might appear I'm chasing dreams But it's actually closer to reality than it seems I've been playing the hand which I was dealt for so long That I'm tired of warming the bench I'd rather go long Put your faith in me homie and we can never go wrong I've been striving for the touchdown ever since my first four songs What if it's really worth having blood, sweat, and tears to achieve it Try not to give a nigga demons and above all increase your dreams And I'ma drop those trying to stop my flow Cause I know nothing's impossible Sometimes highly improbable stomping over my obstacles Had to learn to cool my heels Cause a boat can float in water but sink in the too So my moves is like an eel So I'm still mashing for my ration I'm still shuffling up my deck Still the venomous Virgo that shot them lyrical darts up in your neck Still the ravenous savage whose raps is disastrous How is it I gotta play passive when all my cash goes in the red But seeking this God gave me this talent It's a matter of fact I know I ain't hollered in a minute But you know I'ma holler back to whom it make concerns Sorry I ain't called in a minute I've been trying to get this music thing my all for a minute, I know for the outside looking in it might appear I'm chasing dreams, but it's actually closer to reality than it seems. The women make concern, sorry I ain't called in a minute. I've been trying to get this music thing my all for a minute. I know for the outside looking in it might appear I'm chasing dreams, but it's actually closer to reality than it seems. Yeah, no. know. What's crazy is I swear I wrote that song almost 20 years ago. Yeah. That's that hip hop though. Writing something meaningful that, you know, can stand the test of time. I'm doing this song brand spanking do like, you know, new people can hear it. But yeah, I wrote this at the very beginning of all of this, so it wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they felt themselves sinking. <laughs> if you sink too low, you know how low. See a road sign that reads. Yeah. Bless the beat. Blast you out your seat. Y'all don't even know. Just throw this shit up on repeat. These fuck boys bore me. I war for the glory. You thought that we were coming with that same sad story? Coast to coast like George Nori. But I gotta go. The UFO is soon to be boarding. We keep it trucking. Keep those heaters tucked in. Coming around the corner like a fucking army bucking. You'll get stuck in the flow. I gotta go, cause the goal is to hold fat stacks and control. Everything in front of me is kind of fun to me. You fronting harder than the hardest diamond, so you've done to me. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. You see those people marching in the street. Cause we got some fucked up police. And it's till we see justice, you motherfuckers won't see peace. So until that day, welcome to hell. Hey, bam out the gate, damn I feel great. Alien dog kush, wrapped up in grape. Come and take a taste, but that's a fatal mistake. Cause the bass in the place breaks faces and takes. Haters out the box. Drag them through the blocks, we all threw rocks Nobody called the cops, huh I came to buses cause justice it just ain't dead It's laying comatose up in the hospital bed But fuck it, I'll bring the ruckus if they try to duck us Suckers interrupted, interrupted those fuckers Blew my cover, I'm a self-made maniac Big brain brainiac Find me in the center of Denver, that's where we mainly at 
Pick up Chef Soul. that heart button and let me see you write one phrase in the comments let me see what you got to say you've been watching for a minute probably been waiting all day now the time is finally to find what you gon' say in the comments nigga that's where you write it that's where you type it at official certified hip hop shit you know what I'm saying yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. It's your boy Eddie Spades. That kid on the beat. Apparently, Kid Courageous did this beat, you guys. Check it out, though. I need that pencil in the cassette tape, kind of effect. The only buttons that work are play for or eject. Paper stuffed in the holes to record a tape to reflect our attitude of the moment and have some music for the track. Walk and rap and along the facts and collecting respect for my combination of words and the applications of death. Haiti spades was awake while everybody else slept and through making major mistakes is how his abilities left above the nonsense. He was speaking, taped up headphones, walking, cause the bus don't run that often on the weekend. I'm needing that feeling that takes me back to the boom bap, where you had to buy magazines to figure the new rap. I was the one they looked at like, oh, he could do that? But when I was done, they'd be like, yo, check out the new cat. Snap back, backpack on with loose straps. Hungry for a cypher with the food at. I'm talking about that walk, man, you sick? What, what, what? I said, I'm talking about that walk, man, you sick? Yo, fuck that nigga, Eddie Spades. I beat that nigga ass right now. I walk that nigga right now. I'm talking about that walk, man, you sick? Yo. Talk about that walk, man, music. You know what I need? I need that music that'll move your spirit. The ones that make you make the stank face the exact moment you hear it. The type of record taking you back in time to your teens. What the lyrics of a microphone check up what record scene. So I got the pen and paper and wrote to the paper smoking in hopes that you may be open to hearing my major motion picture. Dual cassette decks take it with you. Back when Maxell and Fuji was our only major issues. We were hugged by the light of the sun Now we're standing in the shadow with the barrel of the gun Situations now will make it so you can't even have fun Too busy worrying about the future run Am I wrong for wanting that old thing back? That pure boom bap without the cocaine rap Genuine interaction without opening the nap Yo, I'm open to that Connecting instead of focusing on your stats I'm talking about that walk, man, you sick? Talking about that walk, man, music. Talking about that walk, man, music. I just got one of them great tapes, man. DJ Screw. Talking about that walk, man, music. Hey. Yeah, no. Good old walk, man, music. Big up 80 Spade, you know what I'm saying? That Walkman music. So just like he said, big up to Wolf House and them. Just like that. <clears throat> hey yo, I got a new album. It's called the ICBM. Look it up. This is off the one right before that that I did with Gloomy Summit Sunday. It's called Gloomy Gray. Go look that up. Let me know what you think. I've been sitting here just wasting my time Thinking of a rhyme Feeling my shine Feeling my glow Cause I really gots to go It's 9 o'clock now I got a 10 o'clock show Driving from Aurora Stopping at the store to Buy a blunt rap for the good Kim Flora Ring goes the phone It's the homeboy Bernie He'll meet me at the club at like 9.30 I said that's bet man I see you at the place 9.55 and I can't find a parking space 9.59 I walk into the building At 10 I ask the crowd Put your hands to the ceiling We like, hey, 
It's just like that. Yeah. It's just like that. Yeah. You know it's just like that. Yo, I'ma keep on going, flowing, cause my rhyme's so fat. Two in the morning while you at home snoring. I'm out here trying to make sure my life isn't boring. I can do it in the sunshine or in the pouring rain. I'ma use this microphone and drill a hole inside your brain. Pouring all my beats so that they're flowing in your veins. Been doing it every day and ain't a damn thing changed. Rocking mics on the regular, doing it better than any competitor. Instead of the run of the mill, I'ma break it up, be at the head of the pack. And I never lack the skill. I bring a heart attack and will. I smack you, bring you back. In fact, I'm hacking at your mind still Who reppin' Denver harder? Been doing it from the starter It's me, the G, the R, the E, the Y, the beer, the harder Of a lion, I'm not lying I'm truly death defying I spit a little heat and got these whack fucks crying Yeah Real life shit, hey. Yeah, yeah You know it's just like that Yeah It's just like that Every day, you know it's just, just like, like that. that I'ma keep on going, flowing Cause my rhyme's so fat Big up Gloomy Sunday Beard, how you feeling, brother? I'm how feeling good. Feel? Look, look, it's I'm coming out your cup right now. I don't know what's in there, but it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you already know, there's something in that cup. Boy. <laughs> something in that, I gotta take a shot to that. You know, Bernie. So, Greybeard, Yo. in closing, yes, sir. Let's, let's put it like this. You got two minutes to do what you got to do, to say what you got to say before it's all over. What would be your message to the people if you had two minutes? It'd be your last message you could get to anybody anywhere. What would be the message you would give them? Like, like the comet is coming. We got two minutes. We got two minutes. It's burning in. All right, motherfuckers, let's roll a joint. What else we gonna do? <laughs> Is that your closing That's statement? That's it. Let's do it. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> 80 Spades, you got two minutes, man. It's coming to a close. What you got to say to the people? I love you. Hurry up and break down that green because we got to roll. <laughs> this will be the fastest joint you have ever seen anybody roll in life. <laughs> We got to get this in the air by 60 seconds, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move it. So if you didn't know, that was your, that was, that was your, that was, that was your cue to bust that shit up, break that shit up, throw that shit up, put it in the air. We two, food it, do what we do. And you already know it's ice cream, baby. Go ahead and scoop it. No matter the flavor, better watch your behavior because we came with a danger. No matter you're a devil or an angel, you know how we rock it. There is no stop. We're doing now with Nate Sun. You know it's just like that. Keeps it popping. We stay in well, motion. Yeah. Once again, so, much man. love, plenty much love, much yeah, honor, peace. much respect to the Honorable Larry Hoover. You know, if I could catch you at any time, I hope I could catch you at dinner time. You know That's what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I am the ravenous savage, I told you average lyrics won't get a pass in this I am everlasting, I'm traveling through the pathogens Even if the host dies, the least I could do is resurrect them like Lazarus Heisenberg, when I'm slicing these words, I'm breaking bad and it's all by design, this ain't no accident So zip your suit up before you take a bath in this vat of acid that's concentrated and hazardous You don't want to test the power of paper shurikens Turn their minds to pudding with all the effort I'm putting in Standing on the cliff and constantly losing foot and win. All of the venom within them is triggered and pushing in. E I G H T Y S P A D E Z. Told you I go like I'm Goku from DBZ. And I'm still hungry. I need me some more food. So go grab your EBT. Please feed me, man, because it's dinner time.
I need some food on my plate, make no mistake This motherfucker right here is well worth the wait 80 and me on the track is like crazy MVP and that's no food Casey We keep it realer than the realest it's ever been Tougher than leather brother go take an excedrin Cause I be banging on your head no doubt Grey beard and 80 turn this motherfucker out Every time I'm in the place you gotta turn up on the bass Take a taste we never waste a beat or a break This is real hip hop we serve it every day You might hear me on the streets or in the club around the way I'm right here repping Denver every year You gotta come and see me like that big blue bear Yeah I'm feeling fine I beat you to the finish line Nothing standing in my way When it's dinner time Eat em up Eat em up Eat em up Dinner time Eat em up Eat em up Dinner time Eat em up It's dinner time Eat em up Dinner time Dinner time Ninja vs Pirate Don't let that run for a sec. You already know what it is. You're in the house with Native Sun. We here to bring the energy levels up. I enjoyed that flow. I almost got lost. I'm like, man, these niggas. I'm trying to kill it on the board. <laughs> I'm trying to. Be- I'm like, man, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's how you know good hip hop. It make you feel like that, huh? You get ready, you like, what do I do? What do, what do I do? Where do I go? Where do I go? Shout out to hip hop, man. Big up yeah. to pioneers such as Chuck D. Shout out to Busta Rhymes that just dropped something. I'm feeling hip hop, man. They got me feeling hip hop. I'm feeling the love, feeling the flow right now. Shout out to Mike Word. He got a show coming up in Boulder, Colorado, man. You know, big up hip hop. How you living? You know, shout out to my guy Jeff Campbell. As you can see, shout out to the Emancipation Theater. Shout out to the Emancipation Theater, man. They sent me this shirt. I'll give you more details on that later. Shout out to Jeff Campbell. Message to the mayor. Our, our unhoused neighbors. You know what I'm saying? You got to tap and get in tune. You know what I'm saying? Emancipation Theater. Jeff Campbell. You're on Facebook. Find a brother. You know what I mean? Our unhoused neighbors. We're telling you about these sweeps. We got sweeps coming up. We want them to stop. On the 15th and 16th of December, we're having hearings to talk about the sweeps and how they need to stop. And other people sleep and other people's not. And some people's just cleaning up the snot from their nose because they babies. They looking at me like crazy. We've been going since the ages, the 60s, 40s, and 20s. Any dates you can pick, believe it. We need that money. We need the resource. We need the land. We need something. My man, put it in hand. Ever since I was a little boy, I had to grab. And now that I am a man, what else is changing that? I'm trying to chill on back and get a snack. That is how the knowledge attacks and it compacts. One, two, three, knowledge, wisdom, understanding how I'm coming at you, Lord. Ne- yeah, never blend in. Blend in. Many spices and flavors, many seasonings. Br- bring the season in. <laughs> this season's almost to an end. Everybody waiting for Christmas to begin. I celebrate Kwanzaa. So you know what I'm saying? The first night of Moja, it stands for unity, unity. That's everything including you and me. The second night, Kuji, Chagulia, that's self-determination through whatever is fooling you. No stupid, bruh. Let's move on through it, bruh. You know how it goes. Gotta get to it, bruh. I won to it, bruh. Now I leave it on your own. Gotta study, gotta research and go and leave your home. And you can see the Kanara up in the five points by the Blair Caldwell. Don't stop, don't talk about all oh, well see that's real culture and the side of anything these vultures done taught you done caught you put you in the net like you already know what it's like up on the net i'm just trying to explain they call me nader son that's one in atv so and one and i'm off the one who needs a two three i'm gonna do me shout out to my guy Greybeard. shout out to 80 spades yeah. you already know tell the people where they can find you while we listen 
to this to this to this piece, brother. Yo, you can find me at my website graybeardhiphop.com or follow me on Instagram at graybeard underscore Denver. If you you hit those two places, you good. Peace. Shout out to Native Son too. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you for having us through, no doubt. Yeah, most times I'm on Instagram, ad underscore spades, s p a d e z underscore rhymes. Well, you know, that's my main spot there. I'm on all the other ones. I got a YouTube, ad spades TV. You can also check me there. Most of my work's yeah, up yeah. there. Find them, you know, right now. Game streams. Drop what you're doing. Got right the now. merch. Rhymeswell.threadless.com. Got the merch. On screen. Go got ahead. The merch. Go ahead. He got his, his support in the building. Got the merch. Rhymeswell. Can we see the other shirt? Go ahead. You know, he got his support in the building. Rhymeswell, the 80 spades. Get your spade on. Get your spade on. Get your wonderful. Keep your great on. Merched up. Perched up. Feeling perfect. You can get a Native Sun shirt. Emancipation Theater. Dot com, graybeardmusic.com. Get a vest, get a beard like Graybeard. He got beards for your kids. 250, tree fitty, tree fitty. We got what you need, tree fitty. Graybeard, beard, you push the beard, a rap come out. You push the beard, and a rap come out. You put it on your child, and you push the beard, and a rap come out. Hey, I'm just like. <laughs> Much love and many blessings. We're going to close off the night in honor once again of the Honorable Larry Hoover. Jumping back, but never jumping off. Keeping it cool all the way to the top from a subtle call. You already know what it is. When it's time to take off, we let that shuttle off. We feel the fire beneath us. We feeling unique. We feeling complete within our individual space. And we're ready for whatever comes our way. We got things going. We don't even know what's playing right now. It's like, what's playing right now? What's happening? What's going through? But I'm going to tell you what we're going through. A cycle. And I'm bringing you back. All the way back. Now we're going to stop all that. We're going to take a second, jump back into a little more of this interview. I'm going to take you to a little cool point where we got people's faces blacked out, walking out, looking crazy. And we're going to close out the night. I appreciate you for tuning in. This has been In the House with Native Son. Much love to Greybeard. Much love to 80 Spades. You know, peace, love, and blessings. Honorable mention to anybody who stepped into this session. I know you've been searching for answers, but life is so much better once you find a question. As to what he wanted done, the board members would would listen to him and carry out his orders. These GD leaders passed orders down to foot soldiers, who then carried out the gang's business on the streets. He had developed his organization to a point where he had several layers that made it very difficult to ever implicate him on anything. In 1978, Hoover solidified his power base behind bars. He convinced black, white, and Latino prison gangs to unite under one banner while serving time. The Alliance gave them unprecedented control. Hoover called it the Folks Nation. Hoover got them together and made all of them drop the flags that they were with and become just one gang. With his power inside cemented, Hoover flexed his muscle on the streets. He imposed a tax on all drug sales made on GD turf. In exchange for the right to sling dope, dealers had to share 70% of their earnings with the GD leadership. Hoover's enforcers made sure that everyone paid up. We had to pay dues. You know what I'm saying? Every week they said that this money was going to be used to buy guns, clothing, pay rents, lawyers, things of that nature. In the late 1980s, the explosive rise of crack cocaine transformed Hoover's organization into a drug empire. The GDs amassed yearly profits in the tens of millions of dollars. But they always wanted more. Snatching up drug turf from rival gangs, that's why there was so much violence, because they tried to acquire 
as much territory as they could in order to sell the narcotics and generate more revenue. There aren't kids uh, anymore in, in the gangs. This isn't the West Side Story of the, the 1950s uh, movie. These are businessmen. This is the new outfit. In the late 80s and uh, very early 90s, they became a, a national force by uh, recognizing outside markets outside of the city of Chicago and began putting their members into various cities throughout the United States. The, the gangster disciples are now in a position to import uh, narcotics from foreign countries. They're controlling the distribution of narcotics in uh, Chicago. The GDs have other ways of identifying themselves, from brandishing black and blue colors to signing to the right. That means cocking their hats to the right, crossing their arms to the right, or rolling up their right pant legs. And they use hand signals and handshakes to tell friend from foe. When you approach someone with a handshake and he said that he was a part of your gang, as soon as you shake his hand, he know what fingers to throw up to you, which fingers to intertwine with other fingers. And if he didn't know that, then he could be jumped up immediately. Ideology, street gang. Uh, one teenager don't like the other teenagers because the way he wears his hat. Because his ideology is different from his. Uh, uh, the don't like a vice lord. The GD school themselves in the gang's constitution and 16 codes of conduct, written by the chairman, Larry Hoover. These codes shape every aspect of how they live and work. First one was silence and secrecy. That's why you didn't talk to no non-members about organization business, period. The chairman came up with a little saying, which was, if the duck wouldn't have quacked, he wouldn't have wind up on the hunter's dinner table. It's your mouth that gets you in trouble. Other rules forbid GD members from using drugs, showing disrespect, and drawing the attention of the police. The GDs enforce a variety of punishments for those who break the rules, from fines to beatings to death. Larry Hoover, the membership in today's day and age, they don't even know who he is. They don't even know what he looks like. They dominated the drug trade in cities across the Midwest. It's like a cancer, it spreads. You got gangster disciples on every street corner. Not since the days of Capone has a Chicago gang ruled with such bloodlust. They will assault you, beat you, shoot you, threaten your family, threaten your children. It's season, the more fear, you know, the more respect. Oh, yes. <laughs> Torture, dismemberment, murder. It's strictly business for the GDs. It's like that. It's real out here, man. Their simple goal, more money and more power. Q says he worked as a shooter for the GDs when they battled their rivals for drug turf at the Cabrini Green housing projects. For every person you shot, you get points, you know, and points added up to respect in the neighborhood and, um, ultimately leadership position, you know? Because every gang wanted to expand its territory, places like Cabrini Green turned into war zones, torn apart by sniper fire. Every day it was a constant tug of war over area, and the only way that you can keep somebody at bay is to keep applying pressure every day. The early 1990s, the frequency and brutality of gangland crime stirred up federal law enforcement. Agents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms joined forces with the Chicago Police Department to wage a massive sting operation against the GDs. It's time to take them off. It's time to stop the violence. Authorities took aim at the upper echelons of the gang, including Chairman Larry Hoover, in the hope of crippling the GD's multi-million dollar drug empire. By wiretapping Hoover's frequent phone calls from state prison, the feds discovered that he was laundering drug money. So he got into, I don't know, 
why and what reason you to get into it because he, he was a child has always understood but he would go out there if he pulled took it a little way and went to the NP at that time we had A's and P's and the little people's grossies Larry's gonna bring that money home and give it to me. He made sure that we didn't suffer even from a kid coming up. That's what that puts him there. Very family orientated and uh, he was a good brother. You know, we had three brothers. Well, I had, I did have three brothers. I only have one now, two is deceased. But Larry was always understanding. He was the oldest. <coughs> he was the oldest. You know, during holidays, he was always there. You know, Christmas time, by my mom being the mom and dad in certain situations, uh, he would always say, Mom, don't worry about me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Make sure Diane and Ronnie and Charles Ray was taken care of. When I think of Larry Hoover, I think of two Years ago. scenarios. Uh, one is this um, monster that the government wanted to create. That this was this horrible person who ran a gang from a prison for over 20 years. And then I think about the Larry Hoover, the individual that I know, uh, who is a very bright, very articulate, um, a young man who has the ability to influence people to encourage people to do the right thing, a person who is just a very dynamic individual. All I can say is that uh, uh, I can't take back what I've done. After uh, I've been convicted of, uh, all I can. All I can do is try to do something to make sure that this doesn't happen again. While incarcerated, he starts to establish guidelines for his followers. And like any good thinker, he puts it down on paper. And the paper is known as the blueprint. This blueprint is a bound copy of a jailhouse manual. ATF recovered this manual as a jailhouse, uh, a, almost a Bible for the street gang. Growth and development, it's GD, it's, it's the same thing. This is just a bound version to cover up what these guys are putting together in jail. Well, I've been working over the past two years to try to redirect the energies of my immediate organization. I was one of the principal components in forging the United Peace Organization, designed to stop kids from killing each other. I know what they're doing. I see the mistakes. I've made the mistakes. Organized crime. And that's what they want to do. They want to create a front, and they want to slow down uh, the actual violence, so we'll get off their back. They're not fooling us at all. It's a, uh, it's a reshaping. Uh, when you when you take away a man's freedom, then he, he looks at life in a whole different manner. He uh, he knows the importance of his own mortality and the importance of human life itself. Uh, his values change. Larry Hoover devised while he was in prison a structure that would m mirror a corporate structure. He placed himself at the top as chairman of the board of directors. Immediately beneath him was the board of directors. Approximately half of those members were incarcerated and they controlled the prison system. Half of them were unincarcerated. They controlled the gangster disciples operations on the street. Every man can change. Every day you change. Uh, you can't never uh, persuade the person. Uh, your actions got to tell, got to show whether you changed or not. That's the only way I can answer that. My actions gonna show that I've changed. My actions up to this point show that I'm, I'm trying to make a change, I'm trying to be accepted. The truth is, niggas in the street got to get together all over the nation. I'm not the uh, regular people in the street. I'm talking about street niggas. I'm talking about niggas that call themselves gangsters. Real gangsters go to the polls.